You're still breathing, you jammy bastard. Hey, you're tough as they come, you know. Jesus Christ. Hey, doggy! Catch! Private Wyatt, good kid. Uh, see you on the flip side, Captain. General Death's head is nearer to us now than he's been in years. We eliminate the general. We cut the head off the crude war machine. That's him, isn't it? That's Death's head! Help me make a choice. Is look to the one you would have me dissect? Thought I'd seen it all. But I've never seen true cruelty. Until now. Oh, be the same. I think I see someone. Her name is Anya. She takes good care of me. It's 1916. The USA, they surrendered 12 years ago when Nazi atom bombed their country. On a train to Berlin. Ich bin Oberstoßbahnführer Engel. Sehr schöne arische Züge. The resistance fighters, where are they? BJ Blaskovich. Caroline? You're alive. If you call shitting in a bag living, they think the war is over. That we are weak. Don't have the guts to oppose them. But as always, they are wrong. Set. Ross, according to official records, has been detained and sent off to a forced labor camp. You said wrong. I'm not sure yet. What do you know of Set Roth? Your does, you should. Source of the Nazi technology, I'm here to rescue you. I hope you'll find what you seek, my friend. My name is Bombate. William J. Blaskowitz. Be safe out there. No one leaves my camp! Max Hoss! Oh, Mr. Max! Max doesn't like violence. He doesn't want to see anyone get hurt. Das Yichet is an ancient, mystical society. We invent things, the technology, the development. Das Yichet is centuries ahead of anything you've ever seen or imagined. Take us back to Berlin, Blaskovich. Since your old friend Frau Engel is leading the attack, Death's head must have promoted her for her actions at the labor camp. You know what you have here, Captain? This is the Eva Helmet, the crown jewel of the Nazi u boat League. Get inside the compound, fast as you can. My death's head off the face of the earth. Death's head? Should have killed that man long ago. Got you, Stan. <laughs> Captain, we are in position. The nuclear cannon is on. Permission to fire? <sighs> You're clear. Father won't be home tonight. Business over in Dallas. Oh, my boy. He hurt you so bad. Just rest and heal. I, I have soup and porridge. Which one would you like? Go on, Captain. Make a choice for me. Stubborn Captain Blaskowitz. It's a good trait. Anya, what is it? I see him. Caroline, this way. William. Oh, my stupid man. Did you think we would just leave you in here? Oh, Jesus, fuck his body. And there's a cover now. Hold him in. Put your hands there. That's not good. Get him in the helicopter. Right, easy, easy. Done. Oh, a blessing. <laughs> to have finished the work I was put on this earth to do. by friends that love me. You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Bombate, we are out. Fire! Yes, madam! Continue. He's bleeding out! Go faster! Exhaust! And the great warmth washing over me. Tao. I think the sky's on fire. He's dying. Caroline, he's dying! Press. He's turning blue. Bombate, we'll need a gurney. It's a hangar bay. ETA 19... Death at the gates again. 
How in my name? Come on in, old buddy. Sorry I made you wait. Let me show you something, Billy. My father called me. If I ever had a son, I should give this to him. It is an engagement ring. It has been with our family for eight generations. <laughs> Can you imagine that, Billy? It is what they call an heirloom. When you meet someone special, you will place this ring on her finger. It is worth a lot, this ring. <laughs> Shit. Must be a hundred damn degrees outside. Do not tell your father about this ring. He will take it. He does not know about it. You know how he is. Sophia! Mother, am I acquitted? Was I righteous and just? Good enough to witness the awe of heaven? You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Oh no. Mother, I'm going to hell. Pull, pull, Bombante. Well, uh, I'll have to cut most of his intestines off. Whatever it takes, Ted, please. Stay with us, Blaskovich. You fight through this, and I promise you, I promise you everything will be all right. Kinderlach, name me anyone for to give blood. Now! All right, listen up. You, you, you fucking do. Run the road up and line up on the hill and shake my fucking on your box. Hey, Marty, yeah. Fierce! Whoa! I need light! Stay down, keep quiet. He's coming. Sophia, he in there? No. Sophia, out of my way. He does not deserve this. You know he does not. Don't bullshit me. I saw him with her. He's young. He likes her. He does not know better. He knows goddamn well not to spend time with some dirty little nigger girl. I will not let you hurt my son. Not anymore. You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Oh, Sophia, every day I'm out there busting my ass, tooth and nail, getting screwed out of my earnings left and right, humiliating myself just to keep the business alive. I saw them two together, Sophia, getting sweet with each other under the poplar tree. This cannot happen! <laughs> I have worked too hard for too damn long to lose my reputation because my boy is sweet on some nigger. Shut down the business when my father told you to. We are behind in everything. Three months behind in utility. All the money my father invested, you have lost. You are playing with fire, Sophia. What are you doing? I am not the man you want to mouth off to. And you are not the man I married. I married a man who would never let his family go hungry. So help me. I will not, will not let you hurt my son. You shut your damn mouth, or I shut it for you. <coughs> what is it with you damn Jews? Have all the answers, do you? Smart mouth, goddamn Jew. I married you, I figured your father'd be an asset. But you just a damn millstone, sticking your nose into my business instead of handling your own. If you can't raise a boy right, I'll do it for you. Get away. <laughs> Hiding in the You are so goddamn weak. They're gonna pick on you, they will break you, they will make you eat dirt. And what are you gonna do about it? You can't fight to save your life. Well, at least I can teach you how to take it. Slow your breathing, Blaskovich. Recover your strength. Big plans are in motion. The tides are turning. 
The Chrysal Circle is rising. I will need you by my side when we make our move. Can you feel the kicking? Dinner time. Yeah. Yeah, you good girl. Yes, Bessie, you such a good girl. You ain't going nowhere. Whimper all you want. In life, you got to make hard decisions. And sometimes, you got to punish the animals out there. It's kill or be killed. The old and the weak are doomed. All manners of scum and sickly minds and dirty bodies and cockroaches doing everything in their power to rob the white man of what he's earned. It's on us to straighten out the queer. It's on you. Finger on the trigger. Just remember, my boy, it will end better than it began. Now, Mr. Blaskovich, I'm very happy to see you awake. Not so happy Anya, to see you out of bed. Where is she? Last time I saw her, she was, uh, she was with Caroline defending the cell platform elevator. Then point me in that direction, sir. Ingrid. You know how long you've been in bed? Five months. Your body is broken. You understand? Your kidneys are failing. You, 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 you might have difficulties to, to, to urinate, to use your schmeckle, to do many no other things. No time for this. Just tell me. Uh, Frau Engel, uh, she's been hunting for you. She's been moving heaven and earth, and today she found you. The Nazis breached the U-boat. Many wounded, many dead. I was separated from the others. I have to go. No. No, Hackman is them I told you no. Said, help me find the sail platform elevator. You are such an auction. You are such an auction. Okay. Now, there are many Nazis between here and the sail platform elevator, but I set several traps. I didn't have the time to activate them, but look at this. This is a map for to show you where the traps are. Uh, put them to good use for the Fakakte Fascist. Uh, okay, be careful. Try not to get killed, if you don't mind. Off you go. to wake up. I'm a burn. Don't be stupid. Okay. Let's get you up. You've gotten so fat. Seth <laughs> says we're having twins.
Not now, Kinderlach. If we survive, you'll have enough time for Schmuzerei. Now, let's get you outside. Onto the deck. Onto the deck. Oh, hold on, William. Junge mit einer Waffe. Loslassen! Loslassen! Sigrun, warum atmest du so schwer? Ich weiß nicht, Mutter. Ah! Das weißt du nicht? <lacht> Dida! Abführen zum Feuer! Ja, Mutter. Du hast die vereinbarten Leibesübungen nicht gemacht und deine Weg nicht eingehalten. Vergib mir, Mutter. Ich habe gestern ein kleines Stück Kuchen gegessen, nur ein ganz kleines... Du dummer Kuh! Du bist eine Schande für deine Rasse und für deine Familie! Das werden die Leute sagen, wenn du in eine Klinik für Fettsüchtige kommst. Eine Generalstochter! Was für eine Schande! Los! Warte ja halten! Du bist nicht mal eine Backfalle wert! Er ist da oben. Da bin ich mir sicher. Abwasch nach drinnen! Ja, Mutter. Los, rein, Männer. Ich sag ihn raus. Megafon. Trapped our vessel, Anishka. What can we do? You ride it. We'll have to somehow release our U-boat once you're out there. I can't lose you. You're weak, William. You're in no shape to fight. I'll find a way. <laughs> you going to run us over with your little wheelchair?
Sandwich them, Bobatkas. I just said, Max. And do this back and forth. <laughs> Max, <laughs> you need it. Okay, come on. We have to submerge quickly. <laughs> Success, Mr. Blaskovich! Alright, you should go out. You go You should go Smart! Like you stop fidgeting. You want something for the pain? No, no, no. Just, just get on with it, man. <laughs> now listen up. Caroline had a plan. Yes. The liberation of the United States of America. Caroline wanted to free the U.S. and use it as a stepping stone to liberate the rest of the world. Come fuck her, high water. This is what we're gonna do. For Caroline. Oh, for God's sake, Max, stop helping! Why is there a Nazi on the boat? Because... Uh, if it wasn't for this Nazi traitor, we'd all be dead by now. We owe her, so we can't kill her. Unless she fucks us over. You gonna fuck us over? No, mister. And I'm not a Nazi. Not anymore. All right. Now, Caroline had established radio contact with an American resistance cell in New York City. Uh, the only way we move forward... Uh, Caroline's plan is to build alliances with US resistance groups and mobilize the people for a revolt. Death charges! Oh, oh, what in the name of Satan's bloody ass is happening? Hold it, hold it, hold it. I hear surface breaches. Multiple surface breaches. Damn, it's through fucking angle. Would someone care to tell me how the fuck she found us? <clears throat> well, speak up. Someone inside your U-boat is transmitting your position. That is bloody marvelous. The Ausmerzer has been receiving messages from someone inside your boat. That's how we found you. Fucking who? Section F. Fucking what? Okay. Okay. There, there it is. Section F. <gasps> but there is no Section F. The maps are not accurate. We've looked and there is no door there. What if there is? But if someone is hiding in the transmitting that signal, you want to investigate. I'm gonna have to go have a lay down. Kindle, come. <clears throat> Must be here. Move this locker. <clears throat> Astonishing. What do you see? Well, the shot from the other side. Here, go there. Hey, look at me. Use this. Fergus came to me with some thoughts for improvement. I think it would at the level. Thanks. I miss the old girl. I will open this when you are done, big man.
like that. A life. All they've known. All they've felt. All the shit they've gone through. All of it gone. In one moment. Please go see Sid at his workshop so he can check up on you. I worry about your health. And I better eat something before I bust out. You all right, Fergus? How's the arm? Please. Please help me. What happened to your face? I think she's trying to kill me, Blasco. Last word. Have you ever drifted off peacefully to sleep, only to be brutally awoken by your own prosthetic arm savagely gobbing you in the eye? I had to turn it off. Is that normal? What's that say? Uh, something about there being a, a learning curve and whatnot. How I needed to learn how to trust it. I don't know. I'll tell you, I don't think I'll be using it to take a piss anytime soon. Maybe it's like training a game dog. You show weakness and little pounds. What you gotta do is show that thing who's in charge. Right, right. Well, you just uh, stand there and be ready to step in in case it uh, looks like I'm about to die. All right. There we go. That's a good girl. You're a good girl. Oh, fuck! Fuck you, that sinful bitch! Oh, you stop it! For the love of God! Oh, no, All right, everything's fine. Calm down. There's a good girl. There's a good girl. You, uh, high and tight there, Commander? Oh. Yeah. Everything's under control. Uh, right this way. Okay. Helm in five. I have reviewed Caroline's notes. The New York City Resistance Group is concealed at the top of the state building. Uh, said I assume the high altitude means the radiation is at tolerable levels? Definitely. <laughs> right. However, we can simply fly in there in our Nazi helicopters because we're gonna be shot down. Can't we re-establish contact there and let them know our helicopters are friendly? I've looked, but I couldn't find any means of contacting them in Caroline's notes. Bloody hell. Well, we'll need to approach from ground level then. Introduce ourselves properly, face to face. Ground level. The whole city is saturated by fallout from the Nazi atom bomb. Lethal levels of radiation if we go there without protective wear. Well, yeah, with this one, well, this armor will shield from all radioactivity. Will you do it then, Blasco? Have you grown too weak and useless now? Always wanted to see the Big Apple. Lovely. Bombate, drop him off now, eh? No problem, Wing Commander. Can I be of use? I don't know, lass. Can you? Five degrees pot, and sand continues straight forward. You got it, Blondie. Hey, big friend. You better watch out for the crocodiles. Crocodiles. He's not New York underground crawling with crocodiles. Oh no, I'm from Texas. <sighs> Jesus Christ.
fuck are you, white boy? Stay calm. Let me first make it absolutely clear that I am not a Nazi. What are you saying? You say you're a Nazi? No, 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 I am not a Nazi. I'm not a Nazi, okay? Well, you ain't a white-ass fascist Nazi pig. Then you either colored or you're a deviant. Now, you sure as hell ain't colored, so you're trying to pass as a deviant? He look like a deviant to you, Sister Grace? Nope. Hang on, hang on. I may not be a deviant. God, I told you he's a goddamn Nazi! Oh, fuck this. Motherfucker! <laughs> Let me say this again. I ain't no goddamn... Nazi. Hey! <laughs> now you bring Super Special back in and you put him down right now, or I will shove this grenade so far up your ass, I'll be dancing and rejoicing as your entrails trickle down from the ceiling. You dig, man? Ladies, <laughs> I got precious little time for your bullshit. We've been trying to make contact with your group. We're organizing for a revolution in America. We? The Chrysal Circle. Especially escort this motherfucker inside the house and get him a hot meal. Let me put this pen back in. Shit! Take cover! <laughs> Relax, man. He's just a duck. Oh, you bitch got a sick sense of humor. Uh, dude, you're crushing me. Oh, oh. Chili, okay? It's my papa's recipe. Ain't got no spoon, though. Oh, thanks. So what's, uh, with the chicken fats? Chicken fats? <laughs> that's, that's my Faraday cage, man. You, you dig? It, it keeps the, the Nazi alien conspiracy from finding us. Oh. I almost got killed by William goddamn Blaskowitz. Get out. Do you mind? You were here when the bomb hit. Yeah, I was. I survived relatively unscathed because I was on the ground at the time when I came up. Looked like a vision out of Dante's Inferno, you know what I'm saying? I remember the main people just wandering through the smoke. I remember. Screams that went through the bombed out buildings like howling ghosts. And I remember this mother and son. This boy was blindly stumbling through the chaos. His arms were outstretched, calling out for his mama. And the heat from the bomb had melted the skin on his arms and they just drooped. Like he was wearing a shirt that was a couple of sizes too big. And I remember his mama. She was crawling to get to him. And the half of her body was all gone. It was just gone. What are you thinking in a moment like that? When you know you're losing everything you love. What are you thinking in a moment like that, huh? You... Shit. That's gonna leave a mark. Monsters did this. Not monsters. Men. Look, I'm sorry for your loss, Mr. Blaskowitz. For a little I spoke with Caroline, she seemed like a hell of a woman. She had balls of steel. Balls. And why is it that balls are always used as some fucking default definition of badassery? Small, little, delicate things. Resting all snug and warm and cozy and comfortable in their little wrinkly wrapper of fucking skin. Shit. <laughs> that is a mystery. <laughs> What's not a mystery is the sweet juice they produce. Yeah, I got, I got a couple of my own on the way. Cute little guy. It's a girl. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what are you sorry for? What's up, Special? There's pigs, lots of them coming up the stairs. They're like a fucking army. Shh, the fuckers found us. Well, 
You got an escape strategy, Mr. Blaskowitz? Anya, we're gonna need immediate evac. Understood, William. Dispatching has one and has two for immediate extraction. Copy. Move your people to the roof. I'll stall the Nazis until our ride's here. Brothers and sisters, listen up! I need everybody to get up to the roof now. We're evacuating. And bring all the equipment you can carry. Come on, let's hustle, people! Come on, come on. Get your shit. You cool? Just make sure your people make it out. Come and fucking get me, you white-ass fascist Nazi pigs! <sighs> fighting every motherfucking day, Blazkowicz. White America, though? <laughs> they done packed up and given in. See, I guess they don't have the fighting spirit no more. Nah, they just do whatever the fucking Fuhrer tells them to do. That's baloney. They want to fight the Nazis just as much as we do. All they need is for someone to show them how. You know who's running the South after the Nazis took over? The Ku Klux motherfucking Klan, am I right? That's it. So what you gonna do? You gonna go down there and hold hands with them and build bridges and persuade them to join our cause? Get your head out your ass, Blazkowicz. Forget about the turncoats. Focus on the grassroots. I got... I'm running on empty. Don't know how much time I got. Can't even stand up on my own accord no more. I've seen worse. Maybe you're right. Maybe the American people grew comfortable living under tyranny. Maybe the Nazis will still be running the show after I kick the bucket. Sister Grace always right, brother. I learned that the hard way. I don't know. But I know this. You take freedom away from the American people, you're playing with fire. And I intend to pour some gasoline. People gotta know they don't have to take this shit no more. And if nothing else, that's what I'm gonna do before I go. See, that's what I'm talking about, Blaskowitz! You wanna strike fear in the Nazis? You wanna hit them hard for all to see? You wanna cause some real motherfucking havoc? Well, then you come to the right woman. So if you still got some Nazi fighting, killing skills up in you, then guess what? I got a plan that's gonna send shockwaves throughout the nation. Oh, shit! Is this the one where I go home to Roswell? Show you right! <laughs> What do you think about this, Schmendrick? I think I got you now, my little goylem. Thanks, Hoss. I don't know, Maxilla. So this is where all the decisions are made. Huh. We're gonna need a room to sleep nearby. This one looks empty. Super Spash! Hey, Englishman. I'm gonna need a new home for my people. Power outlets, radio room access, and a can. You got it? Please. Say what? Please, you ask for something, you say please, and don't fucking call me English, man. Okay, you wanna step to me, motherfucker, you wanna get shit done. Cause I'm gain either way. Don't, don't mind that. Absolutely no control over the thing. Happy to oblige. What's up, boss? We bunking in here. Oh, you got it, sister. All right. Listen up, brothers and sisters. The, uh, touchy Englishman is gonna show you where to set up shop. After that, I want you to look around, Find a place to bunk in, get to know the boat folk, and hey, don't start no shit. But don't take none either. Okay, now. Well, uh, what the kind lady said, follow me. You got nukes on this boat? Yes, we do. There's a stockpile of nuclear warheads downstairs in Section F. We need to get our hands on one of those. But we've sealed off the entrance to Section F, because it's been flooded since the attack. Blaskowitz, you know how to swim? Yep. Grace, you read? Going fishing for that nuclear warhead now. Got it. Keep me posted. 
William? What? I feel like you've been avoiding me. What's wrong? Talk to me. Look at me, Anya. I'm the damn tin man. How am I gonna get close to you? I don't care. We'll figure something out. We always do. Huh? Hey, why, why won't you at least try? Because I'm fucking dying. And the longer we keep pretending it won't happen, the harder it's gonna be. I'll be in the ground a week from now. You don't know that! What, you can see the future now? Don't act like you know things you can't possibly know! Well, the toilet works. Especially, are you still here? You need to haul ass back to Mission Control and get all your ducks in a row. Mm. Now, the Haas 2 helicopter is spinning up in the hangar, and it'll get you as far as Galveston, but from there, baby, you're gonna have to improvise. Dynamite, boss. Blazkowicz, head on up to the hangar and make sure that Haas 1 is mission ready, all right? This is no good. What's going on? Oh, shit. Here he comes. What are you sure you're not looking up? For Christ's sake! Why wasn't anyone watching him? Uh, Fargus, everyone is busy. No time for babysitting. Well, lock him up with a pig, then. What's the problem? <laughs> My toes. Oh, favorite shirt. Fuck, Max. <laughs> Fergus, it's only a shirt. No, it's not just a fucking shirt. I got this shirt at Kinloss. Only one I have. All right, y'all. Drop whatever the fuck you're doing. Because we got some hell to raise. Hey, Englishman. You got nukes on this ship, did you know that? Oh, is that why it only took one of them to level Death's Head's entire fucking compound? How'd you figure that out, oh great genius? Oh, so you knew. Yet you only used the one. Explain that blip to me, shit for brains, because you are stupid for real. For fuck's sakes, you can't bloody well just go around dropping bombs on random civilians, you dim-witted bombard. Oh, eat me, cocksucker. I'm not saying we chunk nukes at a bunch of cities all willy-nilly, pencil dick. Do I look like a fucking Nazi to you? No, 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 no. I would say you most resemble a skitterdrukit cunt rag, emitting a heinous honking similar to that of a shite spoon volcano affronting the senses at full force. Well, at least my face isn't a dead ringer for a massive prolapsed rectum. I want to blow a gut just looking at your bleary-eyed jive ass. Know what I'm saying? The reason we haven't used one of the other atom bombs, which would be obvious to anyone who isn't profoundly idiotic, is we need a proper target first. Well, I'm here to say that I got a proper target. And it's a fucking good one, too. So sit your clown ass down, you dumb fuck Scottish motherfucker. Fair enough. Check 
it out. I sent Specia ahead to his hometown of Roswell, New Mexico, to prep for the mission. Now, there's a tunnel that's accessible through Specia's hideout that will take you straight into the Nazis' top secret underground base, where they're experimenting with some sort of wigged out alien technology. Roswell, New Mexico, you said? This is one of ours. What do you mean? One of yours? Yeah. Wouldn't you like to know? So you can send coded messages back to your pals in Berlin? No! What the fuck is she even doing here? Grace, why? She's good people. She's a fucking Nazi. On your boat. What were you saying, Pops? Hmm? Mm. That secret base you were talking about was constructed by us. That's you. One of our biggest safe keeps. Yeah, it was located here, underground, near what is now Roswell, New Mexico, but it, I mean, it existed for a thousand years, long before America got subjugated by the Europeans. It contained technology related to anti-gravity research, something that could easily turn the tide of war. We gave the U.S. government access to it. Unfortunately, it was too late. America fell. The Nazis took hold of our safekeep. Shit. That's not gonna sit well with Speci. He had his bet on space aliens. He once saw a ship that crashed back there in 47. So what do you want with this place? Know what the Oberkommando is? Hey. That's where the top brass clock tails of the Nazi war machine reside. Yeah, well, the Nazis moved it into your safe keep set. So whatever it is is so important that the whole upper echelon of the Nazi leadership left Berlin and set up shop in New Mexico. And this is why you need this for? What on earth is that? This is a portable nuclear bomb. We're gonna take out the Oberkommando, cripple the Nazi leadership, and destabilize the fucking country and let the people know that the fight is back on. Blazkowicz, load up. I'm sending you to Roswell with this. Roswell is out of helicopter range, so we'll drop you off by the coast near Galveston. From there, you will catch a ride to Roswell. Rendezvous with Super Spech at Papa Joe's All-American Diner and plant the nuke inside the very heart of the Ober Commando. Then, you blow that shit the fuck up. Not that I don't trust you, Blaskowitz. There's nothing saying you couldn't be wearing a mask made to look like William J. Blasquist to hide your alien space lizard facial traits. So, I made the password that Grace gave you. She didn't give me one. Right. Off with the mask. Show me your lizard face, motherfucker. Super special. Lower your weapon before I break your arm and put your lights out. I knew it was you, Terror Billy. I was just fucking with you. Come, follow me. So, um, welcome to Mission Control. That's, I haven't had much of a chance to clean up around here. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's, um, good stuff. This shit right here. It keeps the signals from getting through. Very effective against alien mind reading devices. How's Grace? Good. Baby Abby? Fine as cream gravy. Christ, I miss her. Even the pissing in the face part, you know. I mean, maybe, maybe I miss that the most. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> so what have you been doing down here, Super Special? This place? My papa and me used this place to collect all the evidence we could find of the government cover-up. Cookie? Oh. It's been, been more than a decade now. Uh, summer of 47. I was the same year I quit working as a lawyer. In the year I joined the Black Revolutionary Front, after I got Grace acquitted from that murder charge that the goddamn FBI pigs trumped up against her. Anyway, one night, Papa heard something on the police frequency, and he brought me up north to Murphy's Ranch, where we found this flying saucer-like thing that crashed into the ground. And wouldn't you know it, the U.S. motherfucking military swooped in and quarantined off the entire purview, gave us some kind of bullshit story about a weather balloon. <laughs> they were lying out of their asses, because we made off with some actual hard evidence. Here, take a look at this. Ah. Pulled that baby right out of the crash site. Now, does that look like something that came off a weather balloon? 
This place is where he kept the records and started surveilling what the military is up to. And Papa built most of it. So you reckon what you saw was a spaceship? I'm, I'm not saying it's a flying saucer from outer space, but he was clearly extraterrestrial in origin, if you catch my drift. It's all fucking connected, man. If you trace the chain of causation, you find yourself in a secret underground facility about 10 clicks east of Roswell, up by Bottomless Lakes, Area 52. Our government captured an alien flying saucer, and they stored the salvaged bodies and technology in an underground vault. Everyone was involved. The FBI pigs, the military pigs, even the goddamn King President Pig himself. Check this shit out. What? Area 52, Area 51, over here, Area 48, Area 56, all over the Southwest, Nevada, New Mexico. It's one gigantic complex, and it's connected by underground train tunnels. <laughs> look, look, look at the pictures. Plasma guns, mind control, anti-gravity engines. And after our coward-ass government surrendered to the fucking Nazi pigs, our new masters took over all these bases, and they kept doing their own experiments due to further their own fascist agenda. Look at this. This whole thing is the Area 52 military compound. Up here, it's the, the Nazi head honchos installed the fucking Oberkommando. But down here below, there's a cavernous vault full of all kinds of weird-ass technology. Alien shit. It's, it's all down there. Now, I haven't seen it myself, but it's there. Well, whatever it is, it, it, it ain't Martians. No, okay, all right, all right, all right. We, nobody knows for sure exactly what kind of technology we're dealing with, but it's most likely space alien based. It ain't space aliens. I talk. How the fuck do you know? Are you, are, you, are you some kind of expert on all things extraterrestrial now? Look, I've been a lawyer a long fucking time, and I know a motherfucking conspiracy when I see one. No, okay, I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's fucking space aliens. So, I got a nuke in this here fire extinguisher. Okay. Cool it. I did not mean to rile you. Grace told me that you know a way into the Oberkommando. You get me in there, I will use this nuke to blow the top brass of the Nazi leadership to smithereens. Yes! Yes, of course! That sounds so good. I'm here to help. Papa dug these tunnels to the underground train system that connects all the top secret military bases. This tunnel goes right to Area 52 Cargo Train Loading Depot. All right. Now, you should put that nuke in uh, this backpack to keep your hands free for shooting. All right. Lots of Nazis down there. And other things. Now, I'll keep in touch on the radio. Help you out. Hey, stay frosty, Blaskowitz. Gun. Keys. Thank you.
My daddy says I'm not supposed to play with you. Well, why he say that? My daddy said that Negroes are a sickness on the community and a bad influence, dirty and thieves, and beggars and bums, and they don't know how to read or write, and that they're stinky and stupid and lazy and way too lazy to work an honest job. Well, my daddy did, but my mama say white folks is mean as all get out and hating and resenting on account they used to keep all colors as slaves and now they're not allowed no more. And that's why I can't use a good restroom at the fair and the man in the store won't let me in so I can buy chewing gum or soda pop. Well, what kind of chewing gum you like? Engine scouts. Red or yellow? Yellow. I hate the red ones. The red ones taste like puke. <laughs> yeah. What you got in that jar, Billy? Oh, it's nothing at all. It's for catching tadpoles. What you gonna do with tadpoles in that jar? Just go watch them swim. I feed them crumbs and carrots from the yard. Then they become pinky frogs. Well, I've seen tadpoles down the stream. Follow me and I'll show you. Oh, uh, okay. Come on. The rat fell in the mop bucket, now he can't get out. Look at that. <laughs> he drowned. Probably. Well, save him, Billy. He's drowning. It's just a rat. He's gross. He's eating our food and spreading germs, pooping in our cupboards. Well, he's dying. He's dying, Billy. Long, and it is paved with heartbreak. You will be old before you reach Rod's end. Just remember, my boy, it will end better than it began. secret okay promise not to tell anyone yeah okay I'll whisper it Goddamn ruckus. And in Howie, they followed me. They they pinned me down and they took my pocket knife. What the hell is wrong with you? You let them take your property? 
They're gonna walk all over you till there's nothing left. Now, I gave you that pocket knife. It was in your care. It's your responsibility. I will speak to their parents. You will do no such thing, Sophia. Oh, you gonna let your mommy fight your battles for you, are you, boy? Now, you go on out there and take back what's yours, and you are not setting foot in this house again until you do. <laughs> I have tried reasoning with you. I've tried smacking sense into you till the cows come home and nothing is working. Every night you wake me up with these noises. No matter how many times I try to tell you there are no monsters in our basement. I'm sorry, Daddy. At night, I see them. Clear as daylight. They're coming to kill Mama. All right, here's what we're gonna do. You take this. Wow. Now you and I are going down into the basement and any monsters that show up, we shoot them dead right between their eyes. Sometimes the best way to fix a problem is to face it head on. You with me? Yes, Daddy. Sophia, you in on this? You see them? No, Daddy. The monsters are gone. Well, I reckon if you do no wrong, ain't no monster gonna come after you, son. You think we scared them off for good this time? May I keep the gun? Place is gone to shit. I ain't been down here in nary a decade. I own a 2,000 acre ranch up by Forney Lake now. I heard on the radio you'd been sighted up near Roswell. I figured you might show up here. Nothing in this house but bad memories. So why'd you come? need a place to hide, you need money. Well, you're barking up the wrong tree, son. Far too late to come begging now. Ain't nothing you can offer to make up for what you've done to us. I think of my father, I see a fuck you and a fist flying in my face. When'd you ever do right by me? Disobedient, ungrateful, sense like a flat tire, and a mouth like a sewer. Oh, I saw where you was headed. I've been down that hole myself. And I guarantee goddamn to you, I did all in my might to pull you out. What more do you want from me? I wanted you to treat me like I mattered. Like I wasn't some piece of dog shit got stuck on your shoe. I did my damnedest with you. The truth is, you were broke beyond fixing. What, are you some sort of super killer terror bomber now? You're on the wrong side, buddy. All them years, I was banging my head into the wall, coming to see that everyone was against me. And when the Nazis took over, things got a lot better. You play by their rules, you can do very well for yourself. Ask anyone around these parts, Blaskowitz is a name of renown and respect. 
Everything you touch turns to shit, and I do not need your stink on my name. Wanted murderer. Run off to the army as soon as you come of age. Broke your mother's heart. Where is she? She's gone. When? What happened? What happened is we had a big goddamn war, and now we got a new government with new rules. They took her. She's gone. And what's that queer outfit you're wearing? What do you mean they took her? They rounded up all the Jews and the coloreds and the queers. This is a white man's world now. White man's got to keep it Christian. You sold her out. So what? Wife made a living bemoaning me and raised a boy into a murderer. I always saw you for what you are. Ten pounds of shit in a five-pound bag. On your knees. Daddy, I'm your son. Down on your fucking knees. Was a time I was scared of you. Was a time I'd have pissed myself, had a gun pointed at my head. You know what I feel right now? Not a goddamn thing. Who'd you call? I heard everything. Who in the hell'd you call? I your mom. I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, Billy. Life is full of unexpected things. Some make you cheerful. And some break your heart. I wasn't there when you needed me. 
I ran out on you. It hurts so much, Billy. It felt like my heart was being ripped out of my chest when you left. But all hardship is temporary. Do you know this? And most of it is inevitable. I had to stay behind so that you could leave. And now you're the one in trouble. Do not worry for me. My troubles are over, my son. I don't want to go back out there. But I can't do this anymore. You are strong, Billy. We are survivors, you and I. We keep fighting even when we do not know how. You cannot help but be my son. I'm having twins, Mom. I... They're not born yet. I... I want to see them. I wanted you to see them. I miss you. We will be together soon. You just have one more hardship to. Balin! Warm quill to daydreams. Stolen by cold winds of reality. Position. She's dropping it! You ready, Kindle? We have less than seven seconds. Okay. Ready? Steady? Marks for Mate! Grab it! Oh. Anya, now! Hurry! We have three seconds! We need to give his brain oxygenated blood. Or it will die. Is he alive? Answer me, is he alive? I'm afraid it's too late. Oh, no. No. What? Brain activity! Yes! 
He's alive! Oh. 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 Fucking genius, Seth. Did I ever tell you that? Seth. He's on! Max is right. We should get out of here. The man ready for transport? Oh, God. He is taught. Scheiße. It's a big I'm God, and you got, and you got, and you got, and you. How are you feeling, Mr. Blaskovich? Can you move your body? Yes, you can. Show us. Show us. I feel powerful. Do you remember your name? Do, do you remember your doings in the last two years? Aside from killing Nazis. <laughs> if you die one more time, William, I will murder you. Come, I'll give you some clothes. Send them to me when you're done. Mm -hmm. uh, no, have you seen Ketzele? Where's to get Jane? Where's to get Jane? Shim Shim. I keep the Shim Shim. Mr. Blaskovich. How I look? Like a new man, Yingle. A new man. Oh, look at you. I'm so happy you're back. Now, this, same thing Shoshana has. This, no, 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 no. This connects your head to your body. Very, very important not to fiddle with this. Now, you might feel some weird tingling sensation, not to worry, it's normal. But let me know if anything else happens. For example, your head trying to reject your new body, something like this. It's hot! Mets! Mets! Feel the same way, Max. Excellent. Excellent. You asleep? Hmm? Oh, I just wanted to get some rest before we arrive at New Orleans. Mm, just such a long ride. Need a few minutes. Can you put your arms around me, William? I met him on you. I seen him and I wasn't afraid no more. Oh, William. And your mother? What happened in the garage? The garage. First time you tried to rescue me, Frau Angle's men attacked you in the garage. I heard the gunshots. Oh, that was nothing. We had some tricks up our sleeve. <laughs> That's exactly what Super Smith said. Answer my question. Which one? Is this real? Or am I in heaven? You are one tough motherfucker, you know that? What's all this? All this special shit from Roswell. He brought everything back from Mission Control and dumped it here. <laughs> Never had time to unpack. He was a good man. I saw it go down. 
There's nothing I could do. What did he say? What? What were his last words? I need to know. He said it was space aliens, man. <laughs> Motherfucker. He said, Oh, Ingo, how is everything functioning? Hi, Grace. This one of yours? What's this? Well, where did you get this? Especially had it back in Roswell. Said he found it at the crash site in 47. It looks like no, it can't be it. Yes, sir. But it. Oh! Gotten you. Sir. Gotten you. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Grace. It's happening, Grace. It's a full on assault. Have them run the engines as hot as they can. Full fucking throttle, sister. Yes, ma'am. I'll tell them. We're on a course for the New Orleans ghetto. Come on in, Blast. Let's have a seat. Now, that ghetto is home to one of the last remaining resistance groups in America, led by a man named Horton. Now, after the war, the Nazis put up all these walls around the city. And then they gathered up all the undesirables, and they dumped them there so that Horton and his comrades and all these people are just stuck there, languishing in the worst conditions imaginable. And then, after the event of late, the Nazis, they just dialed up the pressure. Death squads storming the cities, killing everyone in sight. God damn it, they're gonna purge that whole city till there's no one left. We gotta do something. Right on. So now this new body of yours, is it ready for some Nazi killing? More ready than ever. Feel unstoppable. Shh. It's a fucking freight train. You are a fucking freight train. Now before we arrive in New Orleans, we need to make a quick detour into Manhattan. So you'll want to read the mission brief, activate the war map out there, and pull up the info screen for the Manhattan district. Got it. On Blaskowitz, one good thing did come out of all of this mess. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Your execution is all over the news. <laughs> Nazis think you're dead, baby. They ain't never gonna see you coming. Team, you and I. Oh, shit. Hey, you alive? I'm not so good, friend. All right. Oh. Gonna be okay? Yeah. Been through us just. Check it out. Got some smoking fresh Nazi battle robots for you. Big opportunity for some very important scientific research and so forth. Hey! Who's? Oh! Shoshana, look who's here, Mr. Shimshin Blaskovich. What have you done to me, Yingala? What have you done? I've been so absorbed with this artifact you brought into my attention. Absorbed and angry. You see, the Das Yichet engineers that made it called it the God Key, a term that only a complete and utter schmuck would accept it at face value because, first, it's not a key. I mean, I, I don't see a key here. More important, its actual purpose... I don't know what its actual purpose is! 
Makes me very angry. <sighs> All right. Grace. Grace. This motherfucker, don't waste Abby or I'll break your idiot neck. I got you, the New Orleans dossier. I'm sorry. It's just that it took me hours to put her down. Okay, let's roll. In other news, the Minister of Public Security, General Engel, has resolved to clean up the streets of America from, quote, all criminal and terrorist elements. Der Terroranschlag auf Roosevelt war ein Weckruf für das amerikanische Volk. Wir sind über diese sicher, wie wir glauben. Later tonight, we interview Lady Helene herself about the upcoming movie, the most expensive in cinematic history, chronicling the hunt and capture of Terror Billy. We will ask director Lady Helene the most pressing question of all. Who will play Terror Billy? Can any actor truly channel the pure evil of one of history's greatest mass murderers? The helm. Five minutes. My brothers and sisters, for the longest time I've been hearing through the grapevine about this resistance leader named... Port. I... I'm so sorry. I'm still trying to calibrate the fucker. Mm -hmm. Horton. Horton and his crew were holed up in the New Orleans ghetto. Now, this man has important connections to the remaining fragments of the resistance all over the U.S. So, Blazkowicz, I need you to go in there and recruit this man to our cause, you dig? However, this shit ain't gonna be easy. Nazis got this great fucking wall all around New Orleans. Heavily armed guard towers, and the coastline is riddled with mines. Impossible for the U-boat to navigate, but you know what? Fuck them anyway, because we got something else. I'm sorry. Did you need this port? Yes, motherfucker. <clears throat> Tell me what to shoot, Grace. You and Fergus will break into the East Perimeter Security Tower located there in Lake Bourne. Deactivate the mines obstructing the channel to Lake Pontchartrain. Then, we sail this boat into the city and bring all surviving souls on board. my brothers and sisters. Preacher. No, this Lord, Lord, pick these rags up off the streets. Name's Horton. William J. Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz. Terror belly hellfire, son. Ain't you supposed to be dead? I recovered. Well, terror belly don't mean to be rude, but what's your business around these parts? Apart from saving our sorry asses. I'm with the Chrysal Circle. And we're starting a revolution. Are you now? Now this here is the last remaining haven for the cancerous growth of independent free thinkers. Spreading all over the South and yonder. Oh, we be the outcast, the poor. Well, everyone who ain't part of the American goddamn bourgeois. That man right there, getting yourself a drink, that's my old time friend, Paris Jack. A Paris Jack is a brawler, a cutter, a true believing anarchist, and a hell of a clair on that player, ain't that right, Paris? Don't like to toot my own horn, except literally. Streets are quiet, Horton. Nobody's... Wait. Yes. 
The streets are quiet. Now that's the professor. She got them eyes, can see a speck of dirt in the cow's ass off a hundred yards. I tell you, them goddamn nasty son bitches coming here, we gonna shoot their asses out, I tell you what. Going out in a blaze of glory, hallelujah! You got a lot of good people here. You should join us, we could always use more good people. How you reckon to start this revolution of yours, Terror Billy? Terror Billy? Holy shit, it's him. Didn't that Nazi bitch kill you? Seems our friend here kind of told St. Pete to go fuck himself. He's with the Crossell Circle, walking legend. I know who he is. Oh, damn it. Here they come. Paris, I'm feeling a little jittery. Do you mind taking the edge off? Let me see what I can do about that. You know, my mom always said, <laughs> Never trust a man can't handle his whiskey. So you sit right down, sit there, Billy, and drink up. Ugh. What in the world the fuck is this shit? Old Horton special. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Now listen, Terry Billy, I respect your ambition. But there's nothing can be done no more. Uh, the world has sank into the crapper, and all we can do now is drink this whiskey and watch the Vortex suck it all down. Didn't expect your belly to be quite so yellow. We've been fighting for a revolution since long before them Nazis came here. We were the first to start building a civil rights movement to advocate equality for everyone. You know the concept of civil rights, Terror Belly? No, you don't. You're just a jarhead, ain't you? Buddy, I laid my life on the line for freedom, justice, and the American way while you and your bohemian friends were passing out Bolshevik propaganda and opposing the draft on every street corner. What good is your fucking equality? You can't muster the backbone to stick up for your people while the coyote's scratching at your front door. We stood up against the imperialist war machine in the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street who was itching to send the children of the proletariat off to die in foreign lands so that they could be filling their coffers. It weren't their sons bleeding on the beaches. No, they draft people like you for their dirty work while they's watching the dollars roll in. You're the pawn, the patsy of the tankerous men in marble mansions. Well, I see through that shit. Decided not to be a party to it. And yet here you are, guns in hand, shooting Nazis just like me. Difference is you come late to the party. Perhaps your kind had gotten their asses in gear. We'd have won the war. Don't spill that shit on the table, or they'll lead right through it. This'll get you drunk, there, Billy. You upstanding lackey of the establishment, Jake. <clears throat> Listen, pal, I ain't got time for your horse shit. You gotta make the call. Give up and die or step the fuck up. I ain't want to argue with you, Terror Billy. You're too tired to fight. You tired? Man, fuck you. I got kids on the way. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes. So what's it gonna be? You hillbilly, degenerate moonshiner, Bolshevik cowards, goddamn traitors. Lord, Lord, I ain't never seen a man remain coherent after more than one shot over holding special. I like you, Billy. Like your gumption. All right. Let's start this revolution. Hit it. Paris been working on this puppy for over a month now. Hot damn. How'd you tame it? Pop the hood, pour some wires, that about it. He's a quick learner, Paris. Always figures out what's what. So, what's your plan? You're gonna ride it, cowboy. Yes, sir, you're gonna ride on out there, draw off the Nazi fire, while we make our way down to the harbor with all those who survived the purge. Gotcha. All hinges on that boat of yours showing up. It'll be there. Oh, easy now, easy. There you go, just mind the temper. Horton, you better get up here. Nazis swarming in like flies on shit. Check, check. All set there, Billy. Now get up! On you. Come in on you, do you read? William, I read you. What's happening? You okay there, darling? I'm doing... Uh, fine. <laughs> I'm trying to regroup with Fergus. I've contacted Grace. The U-boat is on its way in, and we are on our way to Lakeview District. Listen, don't do anything reckless. 
You stay safe. I'll be fine. Hang out. Horton, what's your status? Rounding up the last of the people and fixing to leave. You'll make your way to the Lakeview District. Bring everyone. We're getting a ride out of here. Well, Billy, that might be a fine idea in theory, but I reckon all them Nazis between here and yonder might slow us down dearly. Wager I can get their attention. You have to fire now, Blaskowitz! Now! Got it. Looks like the Alice Mercer lost track of us. Clear skies on the scope? Friar Angle commands it now. Using it to hunt terrorists. But in the way back, the Alice Mercer would roam from city to city, crushing any resistance. Now, if we ignite a revolt, you can be sure the Alice Mercer will swoop in, put an end to it, before you can say hell's bells. But we're gonna start this revolution. We need to put an end to the Alice Mercer firstly. So then we mount a surprise attack. Conquer the Ausmercer and use it against the Nazis. Well, the Ausmercer is protected by an automated security system called Odin. Seen it when I was up there. We'll hijack the system, find the Odin codes, and disable the fucking thing. Yeah, but that kind of information is a top military secret. Only the Oberkommando is privy to it. Sounds like your basic Nazi military facility infill. I'll break into the Oberkommando and steal the information off their uh, computing machines. Not a problem. Except for the fact that the Uber Commando is now on fucking planet Venus. Venus? Ever since you obliterated the Uber Commando at Roswell with a nuclear bloody warhead, the Nazis have been trying to shove the shite back into the horse. So, they moved the Uber Commando to another fucking planet to keep it away from us. All of their top brass, all their top military secrets have been moved to a fully secured base on Venus. Venus. There is no way you are making it to Venus, sunshine. I don't care how mighty your arsenal or how much fucking manpower. There is not a hope in hell you can bypass all that security. Yeah, not with that attitude. Except maybe there is. In two days, final auditions for the role of the infamous terrorist William Terribilly Glaskowitz take place on the enigmatic Aristat habitat on Venus. One of the hopeful actors is Jules Redfield, here getting a snack from his favorite milkshake bar in his hometown of Needles, California. What you thinking, Anya? William and I are going for milkshakes. His papers are all in his glove box. Yeah. What about him? Well, is he a Nazi? You a Nazi fella? <laughs> Can't even tell no more. How I look? Like a walrus. Don't forget your luggage. Remember, you are Jules Redfield, professional actor, traveling to Venus to audition for the part of William Joseph Blaskovich. Now, you are summoned by personal invitation, so security should be minimal. Break a leg. Mr. Redfield? Mr. You, Sir Redfield? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's me. I'm Helena, the director of this film. Apologies for the long journey, but my producer favors a safe location and has an affinity for dramatic settings. Uh, come. Oh, uh, my, my luggage. Someone will bring it for you. Come, come. Welcome. Welcome to the audition, Mr. Redfield. Places, places, quickly! <coughs> Hide it! 
Hitler! Heil Hitler! Helene! Jetzt kommen Sie! Haben Sie das gesehen? Fremde in meinem Büro? Würden Sie mir bitte verraten, wer in Gottes Namen das ist? Ja, ja, es sind Schauspieler, mein Führer. Schauspieler? Ja. Äh, diese Männer wollen für die Rolle von William Josef Blaskowitz vorsprechen. Es sind Schauspieler. Es tut mir leid, meine Nachricht hat sie wohl nicht erreicht. Was? Und besser konnten wir nicht finden. Keiner von denen sieht dem Kerl auch nur ähnlich. Ja, 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 das kriegen Gott wir. noch mal! Das kriegen wir mit Schminke hin, mein, mein Führer. Oh ja, Schmeck. Mhm. Gut. Das ist magisch. Ja. Magisch. Magisch. Schauspieler. Geschult in der Kunst der Verkleidung und der Täuschung. Ja. Ähnlich wie Spione. Vielleicht ist er ein Spion unter Ihnen. Sie haben sicher alle mein Buch gelesen. Oh, yes, mein Führer. And my children have read it too. I loved it, Mr. Hitler. Super good. Mr. Hitler, wenn Sie mich ansprechen, sagen Sie mein Führer. Verstanden? Haben Sie keinen Respekt vor Autorität? Ihre Worte gewähren Einblick in einen höchst verräterischen Geist. I am so sorry, mein Führer. Sind Sie denn ein Idiot? No, mein Führer. Sind Sie ein verkleideter Schurke, ein Jude? Ein verräterischer Jude? No, no, mein Führer. I'm... I'm from Arizona. Ja, sie kommen immer wieder. Wölfe im Schafspelz. Konspirierende, lügende, niederträchtige Juden. Ich erkenne sie schon von Weitem. Wenn Sie mein Buch gelesen haben, wissen Sie, dass ich die Wahrheit kenne. Und wer die Wahrheit auf seiner Seite hat, der gewinnt immer. So konnte ich die Welt von den Juden reinigen und so konnte ich die minderwertigen Kommunisten in die Knie zwingen. Oh, so ging das. Ich habe ihn vernichtet. William oh, Josef Glatzkowitsch. Oh. 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 Ah. Helene. Mein absolutes Meisterstück, das Jahrhundert Epos und mein künstlerisches Erbe. Wer mein Drehbuch liest, der wird die zahllosen Stunden zu schätzen wissen, die ich aufgewendet habe, damit jede Szene, jeder Zeile, jeder Silber fehlerfrei ist. Bravo, mein Führer, bravo! <lacht> Mutti, mir ist so kalt. Weg! Weg! Sie! Sie spielen die Szene. Helene, zusammen mit Ihnen. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. Is that what you wanted? Is that what you had in mind? You Nazi assholes. Because that's all you're getting. Wunderbar! Wunderbar! Haben Sie das gesehen, Helene? Wie geboren für die Rolle! Oh, er wird mein Platz gewinnen! Oh Gott! 
ist mehr als perfekt. Let me help you unpack, Mr. Redfield. Was zur Hölle ist das? Bitte Zugangsdaten eingeben. Achtung, Fehlfunktion, Navigationssysteme beschädigt, nicht, nicht, nicht. Notfallauswurf eingeleitet. Landung in T-3, 2, 1. Emergency lights on. Where is everyone? Something is wrong. Be ready for any. Yeah! <laughs> Didn't think I'd make it this long. Well, here's to Brother Blaskowitz, toughest motherfucker I ever met. Terrible! That's some hot damn good banana cream pie Max right there. Max so. <laughs> Now here's some wicked love. <laughs> oh, the Lord, I was gonna tear a hole in poor old Orton's tummy. <laughs> Boys! <laughs> so, how was Venus? Did you bring me back anything? Well, the uh, souvenir shop was closed, but I brought you this. Holy shit, Blaskowitz. I absolutely must tell you about the silver fish. Is that the name of the It's a very small name. Seagram! Yes, Paul Quicks! Listen, I'm gonna need your Nazi eyeballs on this one. I am not a Nazi! Whatever. Look, I'm trusting you to decrypt the Odin codes so we can disable the defense system and hijack the outsmarts. Yes, Paul Quicks. But please stop calling me a Nazi! Oh, oh I'm sorry! Did I hurt your Nazi feelings? Suck it up, princess. You still here? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? God damn it. Oh shit, now it's on. Comrades! Brothers and sisters, thank you very much. Tomorrow we are gonna shoot Nazis until we run out of bullets. But tonight, tonight is for Blast Oh, come on! Yeah. Yeah. My 
they preserve your head in this here jar? Oh, dear, Billy! <laughs> Come on, give him a punch! Max. Mm. Oh. Next horse! Next horse! A schmier! Oh, give him a schmier! Oh. Get the fuck off me, lass! Should I go get the fuck off me? Hey! I'm a bloody witch of madness! Horton starts with corn, and on occasion we've done barley, but I think, well, I like rye, but he usually does corn. And then with... Oh, wake up, man. I'm proud of you. Man, where's your arm? Chris, what's going on? Our pilot is still drunk, and we're supposed to be in the air by now. Can he fly in this condition? Well, he sure can't fucking fly with one arm. Okay, Horton, Anya, get him some coffee or something to sober him up. And Blaskowitz, fly Fergus's fucking arm before this whole operation turns into a shit show. God damn. Hey. Hey, Paris Jack. So. I'm looking for Fergus's arm. You seen that thing? You know, I did see Fergus late last night. See the loss over there? For Christ, man, don't look. Yeah, I was meaning to give her this rose, and uh, I wanted to say something romantic here. Uh, romantic, right? No, on occasion. Right. <laughs> Nothing sleazy. Uh, she's a good lass, and mm. I want her to know I'm an honorable man. So, how's this? Maria, ever since I saw you, I've been wanting to do this. And then I hunted the rose, and I say, this rose is a symbol of my good intention. I hope you'll consider going out with me. If it's honest and from the heart, it's all that matters. I don't want to fuck this up. Let me play something to set the mood. <laughs> Maria, ever since I saw you, I've been wanting to do this. seen a man that angry. Thanks. <laughs> Are you trying to fucking kill me? Well, there you go. Old Horton's patented hangover blaster always delivers. Boom. What are you lot loitering around for, huh? Haven't we got a mission briefing to attend? The party's over there. brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters, check this out. 
In less than six hours, Frau Engel is going to make a scheduled appearance on the Jimmy Carver Show, live from Hollywood, California. Now, while that bitch is getting her ass kissed on national television, we're going to infiltrate the Ouse Mercer, disable the Odin defense system, and hijack her ship. And then we find that bitch, and we take her out. What you got? Frau Grace, I decrypted the Odin codes Herr Bleskovich brought back from Venus. Turns out it's just one simple word, Valhalla. Type in Valhalla in any of the Odin terminals and you will have permission to shut down the automated defense systems. Well, all right. Now, fuck off, Nazi. Like I was saying, we are going to find that bitch and we are going to take her Grace. out. What? Me a Nazi again! I am not a Nazi! You do oh. not have the right to label me as something I am not! As someone less than yourself! As someone less than human! Say it! Say I'm not a Nazi! Oh, right. Okay, I get it. You're not a Nazi! And you! You. Don't you understand that, you dumb idiot? And it hurts. It hurts that you are so stupid you don't love me back. But I will dry the tears from my eyes. Get over it and move on. Because I don't need you to be happy. I would just be mentally using your body from time to time for my own personal pleasure. And there's nothing you can do about that. Sigrun. But I'm leaving, okay? No, way. Don't be silly. Oh, you coming with us. All right, Sig. You're the expert here. Lay it out for us. We have to approach fast and low. That will buy us time before we are detected by Odin's radar. Once we are directly below the Outsmerzer, we must ascend rapidly and vertically. This will give us the greatest chance of surviving Odin's opening salvo. If we are lucky, we make it back out before Odin has a missile lock on us. Part of what must be done. It's okay, Sig. You've earned your keep. Now for the rest of y'all. Y'all ready to start a revolution? Lady, I'm the best you got. 
in your face, full of bright words as you're sitting in front of your Nazi television boxes. Just laughing, <laughs> laughing all the lies they've been feeding you, laughing till you're choking. Well, it ends tonight. Oh, yeah, it ends tonight. My brothers and sisters of the United States of America, tonight, we, the free people of the resistance, ask you to become one of us. He's lying. They're lying. There's a threatening, there's a torturing, there's a killing. They beat you in submission. They beat you. They, they made you, you're very soft to cry. But if tonight you gather, speak freely from your heart, yes. I use one of us. Right on. And if tonight we see you on the streets with a knife or a brick, or just your clenched fist fighting the powers that be, then you are one of us. And if for tonight you look down upon your hands and they soaked in the blood of our oppressors, then you is one of us. Yes. If tonight you hold your babies in your arms and swear they'll grow up to be free people, then you are one of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you forget? They brought this war to our shores! Yes, yeah, sister. And then they beat us! They murdered us! They executed us! But guess what? Tonight, they also find out that they fucked with the wrong country. My brothers and sisters of the United States of America! Mm -hmm. When we stand together, ain't nothing and no one can take our country from us. Tonight, they burn. Tonight, you are one of us. Anya. 
You make me strong and weak at the same time. Will you marry me?